Hey, welcome back to Raven Window Acres. So today we're um, kind of just going to talk over what we've been doing with this solar node and then our whole mesh communications network that we're trying to build with uh, the LoRa protocol. Uh, you'll also hear the word Meshtastic, which is basically the software uh, that is the you know firmware that's being operated on these devices. And there's different types of devices. There's other videos on that. But what is our end state? So testing here on the tripod this is for kind of proof of concept see what we've got going on before i do some more permanent fixtures onto a building uh you know either the house here or maybe the pump house i uh, haven't decided yet on the best location uh if i go to the pump house i'll probably go a lot lot taller of a pole as you see you know this is there's the there's the beam antenna up there so um but so that right there is the t-beam which is in this 1050 just plugged into the solar um via a usb or not usb c it's a, a micro usb and it's just got the 118650 of course if you saw previous videos I have this pack that i'm going to probably add i also have an always on from voltaic pack that will probably go into this in the more permanent mounting uh configuration so all right so where's our testing got us so far okay so here uh on ravenwood acres we're in kind of a valley uh, a draw to be more specific and then we live outside the city uh and the therefore you know we have a lot of vegetation you know large trees and some topography in between us and some parts of the city right uh, so without, you know, basically the way you get over or through some of those obstacles, uh, with communications is either, you know, have a antenna on a higher point, right? Uh, thus the, the, the solar node where I could put it up on the house, I'm going to get some elevation there. Uh, we're already located about 350 feet above sea level, but that doesn't get us through hills or trees some trees uh, power which you're not going to change your power settings uh, with these at all there is a little bit the other t-beam one of the other ones i ordered i guess has a a little bit more power but there's limitations to that due to the uh, restrictions from the sec uh, but <clears throat> and then there's some because it we operate here right on the laura which is long range protocol uh, using um, these t-beams and there's some ways you can change that a little bit. And we can get into that in a little bit of a future video. I'm still learning more about that myself. All this is you're learning along with me. Some of, of course, I'm maybe ahead of you just because you've never even heard of this. So if you're jumping into the middle of this, you might want to go back and watch some of my earlier videos on Mestastic uh, in my MCOMs uh, or ECOMs, depending on how you want to say it, series videos. You go check that out. You'll learn a little bit more. So... I've been doing my testing with my solar node here at the house and then this T-beam in my vehicle. Well, you notice it's got this short little dinky antenna that they come with. I'm from my hearing from other YouTubers that they're not the greatest. Um, so I should get an analyzer and do some testing to make sure that I'm not screwing my stuff up by using a crappy antenna. Sorry, it flies. It's that time of year. Um, so my plan is because this inside of a vehicle not going very far so there's me driving around in town kind of holding this out the window trying to do tests uh so i printed this last night from our our 3d printer and this is a simple one i got off of uh, offline and i will of course put a link to the uh, creator of that uh, down below but this one's very simple i did this because it's very shallow because uh, it's going to mount in my upper uh, console on my jeep and it's going to go in there and then it's going to be hooked to an external mag mount antenna of course it's going to have a screen uh i, I got a solder one on there and and then i'll probably just wired in or have a cord wired up there that i could plug in when needed to charge the internal 18650 battery so that should tell us because right now i'm our testing has led us to this fly is going to be wonderful um testing has led us to about a mile and a half to maybe two miles at the most uh doing the current setup so 
that is not my goal is to at least with what we have without adding a node somewhere in town uh, to get three to five miles. So um, gonna work on that a little bit, see where we can get. If you guys find this at all interesting, check out our, our website, theravenwoodacres.com. Of course, subscribe to the channel, check out our playlist, which will be linked here in the video. Um, and uh, our MCOM video uh, playlist. And then, of course, our social media links, which are down below.